Hummingbird moths, also known as clearwing moths, are one of the few species that have adapted the ability to hover while feeding on nectar. This hovering capability has evolved only three times in other nectar feeders, in hummingbirds, certain bats, and these moths. These moths are distinguished from other moths for their rapid sustained flying ability along with their narrow wings and streamlined abdomens that are adapted for rapid flight. I found that a couple popular sources of food for these moths are bee balm and the butterfly bush flowers as seen in this picture. These moths are extremely agile and very fast. They are some of the fastest flying insects in all the world. Some are capable of flying at over 30 miles per hour, and they average a wingspan of 35 to 150 millimeters. This is why a lot of them are mistaken for actual hummingbirds because of their extreme maneuverability and fast-paced flying. The wings on this moth are incredibly transparent, which is why another name for them is the clear wing moth. If it wasn't for small colored areas around the tips of the wings, these wings would almost appear to be invisible. Most of these moths are nocturnal, but some species fly during the day, and prior to flight, most species shiver their flight muscles to warm them up. And during flight, their body temperatures may surpass 40 degrees Celsius, which is equivalent to 104 degrees Fahrenheit. Hummingbird moths come in all shapes and sizes in many different colors. They are also found all across the world. This hummingbird moth is rather large and is taken off from a butterfly bush. Once I started seeing these moths, I became very interested in them, in part because I love hummingbirds and the similarities between the two are very close. At first I thought that they were very rare, but recently I've been seeing more and more of them, and sometimes I see three to four on a single butterfly bush. In the beginning, I thought that they were bees, and then I thought that if I got too close, I would get stung by them. But as I learned more about them and looked them up, I found out they were moths, and that they don't sting you. Another great thing about these moths are their ability to move rapidly from side to side while hovering. This swing hovering ability has thought to have evolved to deal with predators that lie in wait in flowers. The thorax, abdomen, and wings of this moth are densely covered in scales. Although it may not appear to be, the closer you get, the more noticeable it gets. The proboscis on this moth tends to be very long, although in some species it may be shorter. Many of these moths tend to prefer pale flowers with long cholera tubes and a sweet odor. A particular favorite of these hummingbird moths tends to be the orchid, which meets such specifications. These moths are also known to have a lobster-like tail at the end of their body. Unfortunately, these moths don't live forever, but compared to other moths, they are very long-lived, living 10 to 30 days long. 